So we got WAC 100 allegedly being banned from Clubhouse, right? Now, the truth is, he wasn't really banned. Say Cheese made a video, and he was basically insinuating with the title, WAC 100's been banned, he's no longer allowed on Clubhouse, some along those lines, right? In all reality, the current information points to him not being banned. He already responded to it. A couple other people chimed in, so on and so forth, right? So it was misinformation. I've made videos in the past to where the information available to me at the time of uploading pointed in one direction. But after the fact, after I uploaded, additional info comes out and my initial video wasn't completely accurate. So I'll come out and I'll, I'll admit, I'll be like, look, man, I made a video initially with the information, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going in on Say Cheese saying you're a goofy ass lame, oh man, goofy ass lame. That's not what I'm saying, oh me. I'm just saying... In all reality, Say Cheese was claiming that WAC 100 was banned from Clubhouse. He wasn't really banned. I mean, at least that's what it's looking like now. Now, Clubhouse is a major platform. You got people with credible backgrounds in the music industry, in the streets, discussing certain topics. It's a pretty cool platform, right? But you got people like WAC 100. They're going to capitalize on that platform. They're going to utilize controversy, homie. They're going to utilize shock value. They're going to utilize disrespect. They're going to utilize beef and static and division and resentment, you know what I mean? You know, basically anything to perpetuate their own image, their own relevance. You know, they want to remain relevant in the public's eye. And it's that get rich or die trying mindset on me that I ain't got nothing on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm empty inside. I might as well just jump off a skyscraper with a bunch of wet cement tied around my genitalia region if I'm not a rich, famous celebrity. You know what I mean? That's the kind of mindset that the whack 100s of our world knowingly promote and perpetuate. And they're not doing it on a major, you know, scale on me in comparison with the elitists behind closed doors. The WAC 100s are just puppets, fool. They fall into an elitist agenda and design. You know what I mean? And they're puppets. They think, you know, they've been brainwashed like majority of the individuals in our society. Majority simply don't reach that level of fame or wealth, right? But everybody's obsessing over the same unfulfilling, meaningless bullshit. And then they're priding themselves on that meaningless bullshit on top of everything. So... Let me go ahead and clarify, right? You got a bunch of cars. You got a bunch of foreign whips. Old school, whatever. Somebody like WAC 100. More kind of like old school street style Impala. So on and so forth. Boop, 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 right? He's a multi-millionaire though. If you think WAC 100 only has a couple of hundred grand. You know, if you think WAC 100 only got a hundred thousand on me sitting in the account. I mean, that's why they call him WAC 100. You're wrong. Fool, he's a multi-millionaire. He manages multi-millionaires. That's why he's a millionaire. You feel me? It's part of the whole illusionary entertainment industry gimmick these dudes are covered in diamonds we all know how those are acquired it's evil and sinister and pathetic the elitist world destroying creeps and power rely upon that mindset and that ideology the glorification as such the diamonds the designer drip all this meaningless bullshit on me it's that get rich or die trying mindset people like whack 100 perpetuate that and capitalize on it on me they knowingly perpetuate it because they have to continually capitalize on it. Fool. They don't have a purpose, homie. You feel me? They can't encourage the masses to acquire a purpose or yeah, reflect on what they possess internally, homie. To evolve past the glorification or the feeling of emptiness. Simply because you don't possess the same level of materialistic bullshit that the famous rapper or politician or celebrity. Now, look past the materialism. Look at the individuals for what or for who or what they really are. Empty, large toddlers, industrial sized infants. They're just like every other cattle in the herd being led to the slaughter, but they're covered in diamonds throughout the process. You can't oh my god, homie, you can't be fool. You can't be serious, dog. People connect the dots. Alcohol causes 50% of all of our nation's homicides. So you got people claiming to be real ones, claiming to be woke, claiming to care about kids, only to stand against predation, to stand for what's right and have a purpose or a movement of some type. But they're pounding sky vodka and they're covered in diamonds and they want to be a rich rapper. People like WAC 100, puppets of the elitist echelon, homie, basically just perpetuate that illusion. Fool, they ain't shit, homie. Don't idolize them. Don't long for what they possess because internally they have nothing. Internally, you possess much more than they want you aware of.